So that's too bad, because that Tom Kench with regen would have been amazing, but I just kind of had to have it block, I guess. I'll protect you. Stand back. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Braum to kick the day off. Today is going to be a rank up day as we see here. And so what I'm going to be doing, we're not playing any donation decks today. We're, we're uh, playing four decks that I'm pretty comfortable with, with ranking up and everything. Well, I guess one of them, the Viego Control is going to be a new deck, but I want to test that out. Um, because we uh, just realized that it's only about 10 days or it's less, maybe like nine days until the seasonal um, cutoff ends. And so we have to get in that top 700 of Masters rank. We're at Diamond 4 right now. So we're going to try to do some ranking today. So I may, if, if things are going, I'm going to start with the Soraka Brom deck. I'm pretty comfortable with this. If things are going well, we will probably just keep playing it for a little while. If, uh, you know, if, if not, we'll stop at our five games and switch over to the next deck, you know, that kind of stuff. But that's what this week is going to be about. So it will be a little different from our normal format of like play five games all the time because we may have some extra games in there um, as well. But let's let's go ahead and give it a try. So this this deck is very defensive. It's all about blocking, about uh, blocking, then healing our, our allies and everything. We got two Star Springs in here that can win some games. Also, at the top end, we have Howling Abyss, Feel the Rush that also do a good job of winning some games. But besides that, it's going to be about blocking. This this deck's good against the aggressive Shirima Ionia decks like Aurelia Azir, and I think there's a lot of those around, and that's the main reason to play this kind of deck. So let's give it a, tr a try. Here we go, Soraka Brahm. Let's go play some games in Ranked. What? How do we get a mirror match? How do we just play against... The only other person in the world playing Soraka Brahm. How is this even possible? Oh, that hush is actually probably great. Alright, well we got some champions. expected I'm just saving my my troll chant and um, that was pretty lucky with them they got the the one it was on top so they got the plus one plus one with the starless here that was pretty nice I, mean, I can't believe we're just playing against somebody else doing the exact same thing Is it you think it's a viewer? I am here to help. This world has such great potential. So yeah, I guess it's maybe just the exact same deck. Slaughter the weak. I guess I played this also. The I don't think I have to have astral protection right now. Doesn't seem like it. First we fight. Show me your best. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. We fight. We should be friends. 
I have two plus one plus ones on my next ally right now with the Starlets here. This would be a good winter. Am I playing Guiding Touch? No, I'm not playing Guiding Touch. That's by snow and stars. not going to be the exact same deck I have. It's all about the top end cards, right? Right now we just need, we need Howling Abyss. Feel the Rush wouldn't be bad. We need those kind of cards. So this is at one out of four. It's about to be two out of four. Yeah, I just think we just wait. Think about using an Astral Protection on Starless here, just be another spell for the top ally. Ooh, all right, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So if I use Astral Protection... I don't... I think we're okay. An auspicious season. So the top ally is plus four, plus four right now. Yeah, we got matched with the Soraka Bromir, unfortunately. So we're going to need to find something to deal with this Star Spring, because this Star Spring is looking really good right now. Champion that can deal with the Star Spring from our Howling Abyss. Live with purpose. Auction. That's about the worst champion possible, right? Because I don't have room for this Warlord Sword. This thing doesn't even matter. Alright, looking like we're dying to the Star Spring. I found the Howling Abyss and I was excited, but they found a Star Spring. So it looks like they got it. Unless we miraculously find something to deal with that Star Spring. That was the card that I, I should have said that I wanted was Star Spring <laughs> instead of Howling Abyss. Katarina Rallying could maybe do something. I mean, I don't, I don't have any Invoke in my deck, so the Invoke to find a Obliterate Landmark, that's that's not going to happen. I mean, we have to hit, we have to hit Aurelian Soul. Look how we have grown. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is just over. All right, GG's. Of course we are still friends. Okay, Lulu Zed. I like facing this much more than facing the mirror match. All right, so Mountain Goat, Flash Freeze, Broadback Protector. All not bad. I think we have to send that back away, even though I love that card. But I think we can keep all these. Button. 
heightens the senses. So, you know, thinking that they'll have a Zed Hang on, that will be pretty large. And we'll have the flash freeze for it. This is pretty scary. No avalanche over here. We may need both patrol chain and flash freeze. Okay. The star I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too. Oh, that was you, Delirium? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got the the star spring, GGs. That was a unfortunate first game, for sure. Well, they do have triple green glade duo, but they are filled up on the board. So that's good. Stand back. I'll protect you. And these broad back protectors doing their thing. You guys have really yeah, so they're just going to be covering that thing up. Surprised they didn't... Surprised they didn't block with that thing last round. But I guess they didn't want anything damaged, I guess. They'll never see me coming. Maybe we should be playing Starless here. Too. I'm playing the Star Spring though. Hey, Delirium. Well, thanks. Thanks for the the sub. You know, you yeah, you just beat us in the mirror, but thank, thanks for the sub. I appreciate that. Stand back. Brom is on the job. All right, get him, Brom. Back to 16, they were just attacking for lethal. Okay, so there's not really a way to do this where the um, the broadback protector that we're supporting ends up on the left of this one. Because we want, we want this one to be on the left. But I don't think there's really a way to do that. This one's trouble. Looking for this? So I gotta play the troll chant right now to keep this protector alive. Cause it's gonna take three. Yeah, it's worth it. Blessed by snow and stars. Good three sisters. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't put it on the board then remove it because it still it still ends up like the other ones are in combat, so it still ends up the same. I guess I just take nine. I don't want to like frostbite and then they start using some pump spells. It's just nine. Um. So yeah, I guess I just pass. Wait, that's still going to, even if I entomb that, it will still... Man, a rally, really? 
I guess I should have waited on frostbiting last round. Yeah, that just kills me. Hmm. All right, so I guess I misplayed. Shouldn't have played that second. That second flash freeze last round was a mistake. Is this Yetis, I guess? Yetis is kind of the thing that I can think of for Sejuani Ionia. Is it just elusives? Like, what am I doing with this flash freeze? Send it back. Go with the go. There's Avalanche. Could you could have used your last game, Avalanche. Alright, we're good. We got double howling of this. Not exactly sure what's going on right now, except for I don't have any interaction for Sejuani in my hand. They're playing Sejuani next round. No interaction for that. And it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. So, kind of want to play these gems so we get four, you know, plus four, plus four on our next unit. Um, I don't really want to put him on the Braum, though, because if I put him on the Braum, it just makes it easier for Sejuani to kill Braum. I think I want to make these things both for power. They, they can block a Babbling Beard instead. Yeah, we, we've drawn, like, all of our two drops. Three goats, two... Uh, three goats, two Starless Ears. Okay, a Wild Claw. Our top ally has plus six plus six now. Thanks to the gems. Things aren't gonna improve themselves. I would have liked to play something else first and let them do something else first. Huh. It's just a whole bunch of alpha wild claws. the Echo die, but Trindamir seems like a wonderful blocker. But the Echo dies, but I'm going to get new champions every single round. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could be bad. Yep.
That's why it could be bad. So I'm going to have Tom Crunch with regen. Just, you know, thinking about playing an avalanche. Our top unit is still going to get... It's going to be really buffed. I think I'm going to play an avalanche. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if we get Soraka, Soraka and Tom Kench go well together. But yeah, we'll have Tom Kench with regen, which should be pretty strong. And my opponent's had like, really, really good spells to go along with the rest of their stuff. Really hope we draw an ally soon, because we, we haven't drawn an ally in forever. Whatever it is, it's going to be huge. This will be a good winter. I am unbinged. That's well. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. That's for sure. Fly away while you can. Let's not ruffle our feathers. Now the problem here is Battle Fury. I guess. I mean, I guess I have to just have Tom Kench trade. I think I have to keep up the other three sisters for Battle Fury, because they, they definitely seem like a Battle Fury deck. Everyone here? Let's go. The order rewards its faithful. Sleep is for the guiltless. So let's do that, because that Tom Kench with regen would have been amazing, but I just kinda had to have it block, I guess. Okay. I guess they don't have like a... Yeah, they don't have like a way to finish that game out. So yeah, we're gonna have Soraka. One step closer to and uh, it looked good. Soraka and Nivea. <laughs> that was scary. That was scary. But we got a win. So we're on the board. Okay. Man, troll gifts on this thing is so good. But again, I, I think we gotta, this deck is too aggressive. I gotta find something that costs, you know, I wanted to find one of my two drops. One of my two, two mana blockers, one of my six two drops. Yeah, we had all those two drops last game. Yes, yeah, so they're an Alpha Wild Claw Ghost deck. Something a little different. Easy decision there on what we're blocking. Um. Every step, a new journey. Remember the objective. Make the empire proud. Stars fall. Live with purpose. There's plenty of killing left. Yeah, I'd say they're pretty aggressive. First three rounds for six mana, four one drops, and a two drop. I'd say that's pretty aggressive. Let's be down to six. Down to three. Clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. Yeah, what a hand. I'll 
protect you. My starlight. Take heart. Explosives primed. Well, we got a pretty good hand as well. Tremble before the winter's claw. Coming in hot. So we can block three of those things. I'll protect you. Yeah, that's a good draw. Okay, what should we block? Come face me. You? Go no further. This puts me down to three. Let's go down to six. And that's going to be game. Because we're going to heal that Broadback Protector, and it'll keep on healing my Nexus. And there we go. The stars will remember this day. Ooh, Auction Victor. That's probably pretty good. I, Yeah, I could see us struggling against Victor. Um, yeah, so do I want to keep Howling Abyss or not? Obviously, Starlet's here. Braum Troll Chant's all good. And I think so. I mean, I already have, like, round two through four planned. Might as well just keep this Howling Abyss, I think. Auction Victor got a cheeky win versus you yesterday. What did they What did they do? Did they do anything unexpected? Watch your head. Hey, Nasher. Great draw. Could keep my two spell mana for my troll chant. And yeah, I could have attacked, but I liked them wasting their round and wasting their mana instead. Nothing's fearsome. Fearsome means I can't block it. Spell shield ain't too bad either. <laughs> yeah, we want Star Spring sometimes, not too often, but yeah, sometimes it, it can happen for sure. Is that elusive? Uh, yeah, that, that's what I said at the beginning of the game, that Victor is probably the only thing I was scared of, that we could definitely lose to Victor. Glad I was Challenger, I hope they challenge stuff. Yeah, they are really a Victor deck with playing that. I think this is like the only way, you know, the only card I was scared of in the whole deck. I'm not scared of action at all. I'm not scared of anything else, but Victor. Victor can do this. Well, the thing is, we've just been playing incredibly fast games. I definitely feel a whole lot better about facing against this deck than Victor. Okay, you're gone. You're gone. And I... Yeah, Abyss, I'm going to have to send you back. Bingo. 
All right, so Starless here and Soraka. Gonna be my plan. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Took it fair and square. First relic. Huh. Okay. I'm fine with that. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Well, that's too bad. Now I'm not as fine with it. But I'm not gonna... Yeah, I don't want to let that happen. I am here to help. I bring clarity. By starlight. The mountain endures. Another ally. Hmm. I don't need rules to know good. Yeah, that's good, him. We laugh at them. Yeah, I'm not going. Today's a rank up day that I'm not going by just playing five games. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. I'm more practicing and, and looking forward decks for a seasonal tournament if I can get qualified this week. I like the deck I'm playing, but if it keeps losing, like, you know, like... Besides the mirror match, all of our other Their losses are all matches <laughs> that I feel like I could, I could definitely win, but just nothing's going my way. Okay, good. So, uh, Zed, Lulu again. Yeah, like, like that last one. Basically, these last two, how the, these last two games have played out, I feel like are like the only ways they could play out for, for us losing. I just don't think we're going to be losing those matches very often. You know, if, like, if you think about all the different ways the game can play out. Even matchups you like, you know, you're still going to lose 30-40%. But it's like that kind of thing. Like, they have, a, you know, a lot of their champions. And... Uh, I don't have like the right interaction, or I don't have I don't have any cards to block with. I'll show you how it's done. <sighs> okay, so we have the avalanche. If they go with a whole bunch of green glade duos, like how we lost the last time. Gem will be useful for Braum. Hang on, Buzzball. We played this before, our opponent had all three Green Glade duos. This time only two. walk into it a, a twin disciplines Which is what I think is 
happening here as a twin disciplines. Yeah. This world has such great potential. All right, thank you, Hayden. So they'll use like twin disciplines plus three plus zero, I'll flash freeze, and then they'll have to have another plus five. Oh, going that way, okay. That just makes my life better. Dead. They cannot hide. I don't know why they passed, but I am very happy about it. Oh, why am I atta not attacking with the Mighty Boro? Mighty Boro. Or just everything. I should just attack with everything. Sorry, I was... I was thinking about, like, you know, what I'm doing with these things and stuff like that. And Sorry, I, I should just attack with everything. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. Like, I don't want to play the Soraka's Witches, because it does put the Soraka's back in the deck, and I do not want the Soraka's to be back in the Off deck. They have another rally? Yeah, I guess so. Four, six. Yeah, we're good. Come on, Rin. Only the worthy survive. They just use a lot of cards just to do not really much of anything. To heal and protect. I'll leave that first part to you, Soraka. The possibilities are infinite. Oh, I don't I don't think we need to jump. I think we're good. Alright, Avalanche. Alright, so that puts me to four. Dun, dun, dun. Tremble before the winter's claw. I want that in place, so that takes damage from the avalanche also. But avalanche should just finish this game up. Sure. So we'll definitely finish the game up. Now we play Wish. And there we go, GG's. Howling Abyss. 
Yeah, deny. <laughs> yeah, that was deny. That would have been something else. All right, who do we get? Do we find that a really soul? Do we need that other game? No, LeBlanc. LeBlanc's good. All right, we'll regen the Broadback Protector. Game. All right. Okay. So there we go. The stars will remember this day. Auction Sivir. Cool. I like. Um, I'd like to see what this matchup is like. You know, and so I, I want to play against this. And to see how we do. We need a two or a three mana card, of course. Good. But the troll gifts just go so well with Braum. It's hard to, like, when you have Braum, it's really hard to mulligan the troll gifts. But I'm glad we found something before four, four mana. I need new deck ideas. Getting bored with Viego now. Any recommendations? Is the question. Um, I don't know. These are all decks that I that I enjoy that are all different that nobody else, you know, that I build. I mean, Jarvan Chen, other people play Jarvan Chen, I guess, but it's just my version of Jarvan Chen. Besides that, um, you know, Meme Tier Monday, we play tons of cool decks and everything. Um, you can check out my deck page that has all sorts of stuff. Maybe find something there. My trading goat for Treasure Seeker. Maybe not. The, pro the problem here is I could see them merciless huntering. Sun's beneath me and wind's behind me. Let me. You got caught. Woohoo! Yeah, they have. Yep, yeah, they have ships down. I think that'll be a good card to nerf, Shapestone. Get that to be plus two, plus one, not plus three. Is it the mustache? Who knows? My training is I don't have a specific favorite guardian board combo, but this would probably be up there. I, I yeah, this board's really cool. And this guardian works well on the board. Alright, so they did have the Merciless Hunter. A 5-3 Merciless Hunter, even. I cannot go Troll Gifts and Frostbite. Let's just see what happens. I can go Troll Gifts, Troll Gifts. And that's like the better outcome for me. But if they just have again a shape stone or a twin disciplines, that goes to nine and, and then that, that messes everything up. So I think what I have to do is go flash freeze. I and same same with um I could do the the Fury of the North plus three plus four, but that still only goes to nine, so it could still get everything messed up. Shield? 
I should attack with the 33 also. Cool. So they don't get... They were going to get that thing anyway, but they don't get the Warlord's Horde now. Wait, is that... is that... Okay, that's permanent. Okay. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking that was just this round. This way, go! Watch your head. I will play my part. They have two plus threes, I'm... Man, I really hope they don't have two plus threes. Shape Zones and Twin Disciplines are both messed up. Alright, so they'll just trade. That's still a good... It's a good trade for them, of course, because that Brom... Was just gonna dominate, so that's that's really nice for them to be able to trade there. Because I had two troll gifts on that Braum. I had a lot invested in that Braum. Kinda needed that Braum. Stand back. All right, Braum, Soraka, feel the rush. Starlet Seer. This one's gonna just die. Oh, it wouldn't die. It wouldn't die if I would have used the gem. I forgot about that other plus one. Stand back. Oh well, now now we can keep this one alive. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. You really need a Soraka or a Braum. Blessed by snow and stars. Oh, an auspicious season. Could really use a Soraka or a Braum. Or feel the rush. Feel the rush. Yeah, it's not like I can like pass and or attack first and like get them to tap under deny mana if they have deny. Don't expect them to have deny. Yeah. All right, now. Now we got this. I would think. Yeah, because uh, Soraka, you know, this thing has 11 health because of the Astral Protection, so Soraka's going to heal that back. Today we 
have determined our awesome. own fate. So I don't know, like the deck's good. There's something a little missing. Like maybe maybe one copy of Ice Shards in here. Just to kind of be a fourth avalanche. Maybe no Bastion. Maybe that maybe the Bastion gets replaced by an Ice Shards or a Blighted Ravine. Probably Ice Shard. I think I'd, I'd rather have Ice Shard. Guiding Touch. Guiding Touch is okay. I don't love it. I just I don't like Guiding Touch more than Troll Gifts or Troll Chant, or like you know you need to, like your Flash Freezes. So it's it's hard to to fit it in. That's like the spot like where it would go is over Troll Gifts. But I kind of just like Troll Gifts more. I like that that permanent plus two plus two with Braum is just ridiculous. But you we just can't really fit it in more with having all these also. I think I want an Ice Shard though. I think take out the Bash and put in an Ice Shard. Kind of depends if we play against like Viego decks. Like you need that Bastion for Viego decks for the Braum. Yeah, because we are fa we are seeing lots and lots and lots and lots of aggro these days. Okay. All right, so we'll we'll move on to our next deck. Um, but you know maybe maybe switch that out. But we'll see. You know maybe if you start playing against more Viego decks for for the Bastion. But it, it, definitely in like a seasonal tournament though, I'd be you know banning the the bigger decks and you know wanting to play against the aggro. So maybe just having the Sci Shard in there instead of that Bastion could be the way to go. All right, but that's going to be it here for Soraka Braum with our uh, ranked up practice for that. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments if you've got any cool deck ideas or if you, you know, how are you liking the deck and everything like that. I know we just played this like four days ago. Uh, it was the best deck of the day at the time. And yeah, I'm still pretty confident in this deck. I like it quite a bit. All right, but that's going to be it here for Soraka Braum. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.